Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing three cryptocurrencies which are Chainlink, Tezos and Bancor. We will see where they might move over the next uh, weeks. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis for free. Well, if you want to receive our real-time alerts and our trading signals generated by our robot, then you might want to join our growing community on Patreon. You will find the link in the description field. Let's start with Chainlink. As you can see here, we have a weekly chart. Uh, I've been giving out uh, uh, two trading signals to my Patreons. Actually, we have hit the very first one at 20 US dollar and the second one at 30. Uh, US dollar. So, uh, if we analyze the volumes, we see an increase in terms of volumes. Uh, once breaking above the very first area at 20 US dollar, and right now what we see is a bearish pattern with a long white candle followed by a Doji and then a third candle, which is a long black one. Okay. So, what we uh, can retrieve from the uh, price action is that we see an increase, a huge increase in terms of amplitude. Uh, for uh, this long white candle and as well for the long black one, uh, which actually uh, should make us think that we might be at the end uh, of the uptrend, at least for now. Being this one a weekly chart, uh, I do believe that we might see a, a retrace. Um, so in terms of uh, buying uh, Chainlink, uh, definitely we want to buy Chainlink only at the break of 35 US dollar with a clear target at 50 US dollar. Okay, um, right now uh, we should be waiting uh, because, uh, as you have been saying before, we see a strong bearish pattern with a long white candle followed by a doji and a long black one. Okay, right now we see a long white candle in formation, but today is just Tuesday, so we will need to uh, check it out where we are uh, at the end of the week. Okay. So right now, uh, for Chainlink, uh, uh, if you are holding uh, a position and you are in profit, I uh, do suggest to take profit. While if you want to enter uh, on Chainlink, definitely you should be waiting uh, at the break of 35 US dollar, which was the all time high. Or if you want to buy on weakness, definitely uh, you can buy at 20 US dollar, but just uh, with a very short term. Uh, uh, horizontal, okay. So, because from here, then we might see again a movement downward. So, again, we uh, prefer buying on breakouts at the break of 35 US dollar for just a very short term trend, uh, trade. We might uh, uh, open along at 20 US dollar. Now, let's move on and let's analyze Tezos. Tezos is a completely different chart when compared with Chainlink. So, while Chainlink was in a clear uptrend. Uh, Tezos is enveloped inside the rectangle between 6 US dollar and 2 US dollar. As you can see here, we have experienced a fake breakout downwards, um, a period of accumulation. Right now, we are still enveloped inside uh, this uh, huge rectangle between 6 and 2 US dollar. So, what we can uh, retrieve from the volume analysis is a huge increase in terms of volumes, which is a, an extremely positive signal for us. In terms of uh, uh, technical analysis, in terms of trading, definitely we want to buy at the break of six US dollar, which means with a week, once we will be uh, experiencing a weekly closure above six US dollar, definitely we are entering long uh, with very first target at 12 US dollar from where we see this uh, huge reversal pinball. This is uh, a spectacular huge reversal pinball that at the time in 2017. Uh, uh, actually made the Tezos tumbling down from uh, 12 US dollar till uh, almost 0 0.40 40 US dollar. Now let's move on and let's analyze Bancor. Uh, Bancor is a different chart as well uh, uh, from Chainlink, more similar to the Tezos one. Uh, what we see is that actually right now this area of US dollar is holding. Uh, uh, so at the break of this area above 6.70 US dollar, we are definitely buying with the very first target at 10 US dollar. What I do suggest in this case to take profit for half of the position once hitting the 10 US dollar threshold, 
while letting go uh, the second half uh, to hit uh, the whole time high around this area okay so 23 us dollar uh, in other words bancor is really promising uh, in terms of uh, risk reward ratio seems to be seems to have a better uh, definitely a much better uh, uh, ratio when compared with Chainlink uh, and definitely is more comparable to uh, Tezos. So my for the free uh, cryptocurrencies analyzed today definitely Bancor number one, Tezos number two, Chainlink number three. Thank you guys.